Our forum is a global member-based organization, uh, industry, academia, and regulators dedicated to mapping out the research roadmap towards the next generation of mobile communications. To do this, we need to carefully analyze current mobile systems and the degree to which they meet the current and future needs of our users. In particular, those in the developing markets that play such an important role in our industry in the future. WWRF has been extensively engaged with ITU in the evaluation of IMT 2020 systems and has also been analyzing the future technology trends that will enable future systems. In 2022, through the WWF huddle and other events and workshops, we will be working closely with our colleagues across ITU sectors to develop a clear vision of what next generation systems will be able to achieve. For global inclusion to be achieved, cost efficiency is required. Some of the functionality required in more developed countries may be expensive and not required in the initial stages of deployment elsewhere. Many developing countries are not currently thinking about the next generation, but it's essential that the technology selected can be upgraded by software to connect the unconnected and are affordable by those migrating from 4G to beyond 5G, which may be either directly or via 4G. One important area that needs policy attention is that air interface and network specifications need to support enhanced security and devices. A combination of air interface and network infrastructure will, with built-in security functionalities will achieve the strongest protection possible and thereby increase user confidence and trust. Future systems will need to provide robust and secure solutions to address threats to security and privacy brought by new radio technologies, new services, and new deployment cases. In 2030 and beyond, sensing and advanced AI will enable a much fuller context awareness. As we said in the theme of our recent meeting, we'll be moving from connecting things to connecting intelligence, connected intelligence. In its turn, context awareness can drive the quality of security experience by users and enable the adaptation of security controls. These are gonna be especially pertinent for constrained wireless systems, such as the internet of things with massive connectivity and those systems where ultra low latencies are required. We are encouraged to see an increasing cooperation and integration between terrestrial and non-terrestrial networks, leading to a more integrated approach to providing global and affordable coverage in a sustainable way. Telecommunications policy needs to adapt and grow to help meet these new societal challenges. And WWRF is committed to working with ITU to achieve this. And we welcome working with you all in these efforts. Thank you.